Suspension system is the term given to the system of springs, shock absorbers, and linkages that connects a vehicle to its wheels, and allows relative motion between the two. The suspension system separates the wheel axle assembly from body. A vehicle needs a suspension system to cushion and damp out road shocks, so providing comfort to the passengers and preventing damage to the load and vehicle components. The springs and other components compress and expand, as the wheel hits bumps or holes in the road, this allows the wheel to move up and down without moving the vehicle body. Supports the weight of the vehicle. Provides a smooth ride. Allows rapid cornering without extreme body roll. Keeps tires in firm contact with the road surface. Allows front wheels to turn left or right for steering. Isolates the body from road shocks and vibrations. Prevents excessive body squat, tilting down at rear, when accelerating or heavily loaded. Prevents excessive body dive, tilting down at front, when braking. Suspension system includes steering knuckle, control arm, ball joint, suspension springs, sway bar and dampers. Steering knuckle is that part which contains the wheel hub or spindle, and attaches to the suspension and steering components. The wheel hub and bearing assembly is mounted on steering knuckle. Steering knuckle is mounting with tie rod for steering, lower arm, brake caliper, and strut. Control arm is a movable lever that fastens the steering knuckle to the vehicle's body or frame. Vehicles with short long arm front suspensions have four control arms, two uppers and two lowers. While most strut equipped vehicles have only two lower control arms in the front suspension. Ball joint is chassis part that connects the steering knuckle to the control arm. The ball and socket design of the joint allows it to swivel so the knuckles can pivot as the wheels are steered and allows it to arc so the knuckles can follow the vertical motions of the suspension as it reacts to changes in the road surface vehicles with short long arm front suspensions have four ball joints two uppers and two lowers while most strut equipped vehicles have only two lower joints in the front suspension. The vehicle body is supported by the suspension springs, which are located between the body and wheel axles. There are four main types of springs in common use, coil spring, leaf spring, torsion bar, and rubber spring. A coil spring is simply a spiral of resilient steel rod. It is stretched or compressed by the vertical movement of the wheels.
Coil springs are most common springs used in front and rear of passenger cars. Coil springs absorb the force of impact by twisting. The leaf spring is one of the oldest forms of springing, it is usually used on rear-wheel drive vehicles because of its simplicity, they are normally mounted longitudinally. Leaf springs are constructed of one or more strips of long, narrow spring steel. These metal strips, called leaves, are assembled with plastic or synthetic rubber insulators between the leaves, allowing freedom of movement during spring operation without creating wear or noise. The longest leaf called the main leaf is rolled at both ends to form eyes, these eyes are used to mount the spring to the frame of the vehicle. The leaves are held together by a center bolt, that passes through a hole in the center of each leaf. Rebound clips are formed at intervals around the leaves, they prevent excessive flexing of the main leaf during rebound, and also keep the leaves in alignment. The front end of a leaf spring is mounted to a hanger, with a bolt and rubber bushings directly attached to the frame. The rear end of the leaf spring is attached to the frame with movable mounting hangers called shackles. The leaf spring is also used to locate the axle on the spring. The axle is then clamped to the spring by U-bolts, that wrap around the axle housing and through a spring plate underneath the spring. Torsion bar is a straight spring steel rod with splined or square ends. One end of the bar is attached to the frame, and the other end is connected to the lower control arm. The torsion bar twists around its center as the control arm is deflected. Non-metallic materials like rubber can provide the main springing action, but are more commonly used as stops to limit extreme suspension movement. The stops can also be shaped, to provide an auxiliary springing function in light vehicle applications. Bump stops can help cushion the suspension and prevent it from bottoming out. Bump stops are made in a few different designs, so they mount in different places. Some are placed in line with the piston rods of shocks, others mount between frame and axle, absorbing impact before the axle gets a chance to slam into the frame. Sway bar is also called stabilizer bar or anti-roll bar. Sway bar connects lower control arms on both sides of vehicle. Sway bar operates as a spring when car leans to one side, if one wheel moves up or down in relation to the other wheel, bar twists as it tries to move the other wheel along with it. The energy of road shock caused the spring to oscillate. These oscillations are restricted to reasonable level by damper. There are three types of dampers, shock absorber, coil over, and strut. Shock absorber are conventional telescopic dampers, 
They are used on all conventional suspension systems to dampen and control the motion of the vehicle's springs. One end is connected to the body or frame, and the other is connected to the axle or control arm. Shock absorbers work alongside springs, to reduce the impact of bumps and potholes. There are different kinds of shock absorbers, but they all use a piston sliding in a cylinder filled with oil. A monotube shock has a single piston and rod assembly in a damping case, in which both compression and rebound occur, also it has a free piston that completely separates the oil chamber from the gas chamber. The oil flows through a valve in the piston, and the monotube has some volume of gas that accounts for any volume change in the oil. Twin tubes have an inner cylinder which moves up and down, and an outer cylinder which serves as a hydraulic reserve. This design allows for an increase in suspension stroke, which provides better ride quality and handling. A valve at the bottom of the shock, allows the oil to flow into the reservoir as the piston moves up and down. A coilover is a suspension device which consists of a shock with a coil spring encircling it. There are two types of coilovers, full coilovers and slip-on coilovers. Full coilovers are matched up with a shock absorber from the factory, while with slip-on coilovers, the dampers and springs are bought separately and then assembled. Coilover is found on many vehicles, it is used in double wishbone suspension systems, and is often a component of McPherson struts. A strut is a structural part of the vehicle's suspension system, and is mounted to the chassis on the top, and they come down through. A strut assembly is made up of the strut, bump stop or boot, spring, spring seat, and mount. The bottom of the strut usually attaches to the steering knuckle, and the top of the strut is connected to the vehicle body through an upper strut mount.